Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. So we basically finished this cleaning around the pond here. It's all been moved and it's all been cleaned and moved out of the way. All back up here, even even around the, the back of the pond. So I can now walk in here and without tripping and <laughs> possibly falling into the pond so that is complete now so what we need to do now <laughs> what are you doing Tatai? <laughs> uh -huh. you look like you're ready to go tubing so anyway um, we need uh, We've got well over a thousand fingerlings up in the up in the tanks, and it's getting crowded up there because their biomass is increasing. I can't put any I can't put any more fish up there in those tanks at all because they are at the maximum and then some. So what we need to do is put another box of uh, tilapia in here. I know it's not the the one month. Uh, the one month cycle it's only been a couple weeks since we put this box here in but uh, it doesn't really matter when we put the fingerlings in and begin their grow out we can we can manipulate the harvest schedule uh, let them grow a little larger uh, to get onto that one month cycle so that's what we're going to do so it's basically going to be uh, one box of fish and one box of uh, duckweed net and another box of fish and w at least one more uh, box for the uh, duckweed and eventually so what it's going to be is this side of the pond is going to be uh, grow out cages and the far side of the pond is going to be duckweed that's been the plan all along so uh, we have used all of that net, that roll of net that I got. Uh, so we need more net. So we're going to take down the partition. Um, you know, Tata and I had uh, erroneously had the assumption that if we sectioned off the pond, we would be able to uh, catch enough fish in the part of the pond that we had sectioned off to be able to have the duckweed free free floating in the in uh, that far side of the pond and not have to build nets for it. <laughs> well, uh, we could never get enough of the fish out to where the duckweed could grow without the fish overwhelming its growth and just eating it all. <clears throat> we even tried, so we, we had put the, the net that uh, was separating the pond basically in, in half we even tried, well, we can't get enough of the fish out, so we'll, we set this net in here, so it was just a quarter of the pond. And we tried to, I don't know if you guys remember, we had that large uh, net that we were using as a capture net. That's where we got the thousand plus fingerlings that we have, plus a bunch of other fish that have been eaten. We do have... Uh, four Filipinos here that love to eat fish and so they've been eating a lot of fish and we've been we've sold some we've taken a lot of fish out of this pond but we just can't take out enough to it seems uh, in in reality that we can't take out enough to get the population of fish down low enough to where we can freely grow duckweed so uh, we need the net for cages so we're going to remove it and that's what uh, Tata and E-Boy are doing right now. It is weighted. Uh, Tata and I floated the wheelbarrow out there before and kind of fed it down off of the wheelbarrow, but I uh, don't really have that option now. It's just got to be hauled out. So we're going to utilize that net to make more, make more cages with, and we'll eventually uh, utilize that one there also. But this is a large piece of net. It's, you know, it's a full width. 
and it's over 100 feet long. So uh, probably be able to make all the boxes that we need out of that one net. And if not, we, we still have that one, and that one's about 30 feet, I would guess, maybe 35. So uh, I think and I hope we have enough net to make all these uh, additional uh, boxes that we need. The fish that are growing are doing very well. Uh, everything's kind of going along like clockwork. And Tata and E-Boy are just going to stay at it on the making the nets and uh, um, putting fish and duckweed in this pond. All right, well, Tata and E-Boy have gotten started on this. So 10 by 20, Tata? Yeah. Double sided. This one is got sides. That's the side there. Yeah. Okay. That's for the fish, yeah. Or is this duckweed? The duckweed. Oh, it's the duckweed? Okay. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just tired. So this is the, the next duckweed uh, net. So how much how much of this is remaining, Tate? Uh, maybe, maybe a simple one, but not... Not enough for two? No, not enough for 10 by 20, maybe 15 by 20. Maybe, maybe how much by 20? Uh, 15, by, uh, 15 by 10. Okay. This one is 15. And that's using both of the both the nets that were in the... Yeah, uh, the, uh, the center. The center and, and the side and the partition? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well it is what it is. We can only do what we can do. Just remember that we have to save some of this net. Well, or the feeding guard. Well, we need the feeding guard for the duckweed, and well, unless we have a lot more of that screen, that white screen there, do we? Or, um, no. Or that's all. Well, I can buy a few more yards of that I white. Can only use for the feeding guard. This is this way. Okay. Well, just uh, and we we well, we can get a little we can get a small amount more of either of either of either this black net or the screen. Yeah. What is the like a screen? The screen for the duckweed. Yeah, like a window screen. Yeah. Well, if this one is going to be for the duckweed, well. I don't know. We don't have any, we don't have enough screen right now to do it. Uh, yeah. Fine. But uh, this one I try to make up like a floating. I don't understand. What do you mean? I make a wood to make a float. Are oh, you gonna make this box floating? Yeah. Because if they have. <laughs> you just want to use 1.5 bottles? Ah uh, no! I will cut the. Round wood, then I will make a, a frame the same size of this one box. Okay, but we still need the wood's not going to float much. No, you have a wood better, uh, maybe very light wood. Okay, well, if it's not enough, then we can add some 1.5 bottles. That's the easy way. We have lots of those. You have a floater wood, so this ABN. Okay, up yeah. to you. Whatever you want to do, Tata. You know the woods around here better than I do. Yeah. Alright, that's going to be it for the day. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.